Okay, this is the second part of the scam. I look back at June the 17th, and it is for Rainbow Contracts document. So I open up the document. It says resume signing. Okay. Why would the first one I get say resume signing? The first thing I get from them, if it's for application. Okay. So the second one says view completed records. I open the second one. From Rainbow Contract Signature Request for Application, June 17th. It's a signature request for application. Okay. I open it up. And there's a signature request completed on the 17th. Everything was complete on the 17th, but here's a date. The 18th. If it was completed on the 17th, why is the 18th on this document? If everything was completed on the 17th, then I stroll down. I see another Ford signature for the 18th. Included in a document that was completed on the 17th. Here's another date for the 18th in this seven, in this completed on the 17th contract that was forged. Okay. I keep scrolling down. This is the actual application. So they attached the forgery onto this. This is completed on the application signature, 617-658, which is the wrong time. And then it's, look down here, it's page one of one. That's part of the deception. It's one DocuSign, but three or four different error errors in the DocuSign, the date and the time. Okay. And the reason I say it says you're done. Okay. It says completed June 17th. Signature for application June 17th. Signature for application June 17th. Everything was completed on the 17th, but in the document is the 18th. So according to the document, it says, okay, you signed at, we sent you a, a document at 653. You viewed it at 657 and you signed it at 658 within minutes. Within a minute, you signed it. You viewed it at, in one minute, and you signed it in another minute. All of that, you signed in one minute. Everything, you signed at 6.58. Everything completed, you signed on the 17th. But it was, the date and time was 18th. But how can I sign at 6.58? On the 17th, when you're just getting to my house at 6.58, that's Kentucky time. And I live in Tennessee. I'm on the borderline. So my, my security camera pick up Kentucky time because I'm right there by Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Gate 10. Healthy Essentials. June 17th, sent by Healthy Essentials. Viewed by me in October, Healthy Essentials signed June 17th. Gotcha. And they forwarded my information on the 18th as well. Because if you look here, no one ever went to this document on the 18th. The 17th, Healthy Essentials. This document was not viewed again until October.
Okay, you see, Rainbow Contracts sent the invitation. It was sent. And it said that I viewed it at 6.58. It sent it. It was sent at 6.58. I viewed it at 6.58. I viewed the envelope. It was sent. Healthy Essentials access at 7.37. They access code passed for the Healthy Essentials. She was still in my house at 7.37. At 7.37... Healthy Essentials open healthy, open the envelope that was sent. Healthy Essentials viewed the envelope that was delivered, and Healthy Essentials signed, completed. It says healthy essential sign completed. She says, I can resend to you if you need as well copies of the other contract you signed with the company. And I said, you forged. That's not my signature. And she said, Carla, I don't have access to your email. So how can I forge your signature? I said, like I said, a professional liar. And then she said, electronic signatures, <laughs> whatever. Okay, I'm looking for another document. She said, I told her I was in process. We'll see who had the last laugh. I was talking about court. She said, good luck. Make sure you pull a copy of your contract. From your email, as you stated you didn't get, you're going to need to show them something in writing. I can resend it to you if you need it. Laugh out loud. As well as other copies of other contracts that you sign. And I say you forged. That's not my signature. Still trying to convince me that I signed the contract that was completed on... 17th, but here's a date on the 18th. If it was completed on the 17th, why is this date here? This is the many this is the many forms you signed. Here is another 618. Six eighteen, but everything was completed on the seventeenth. But here's six eighteen again, and this is six seventeen, six fifty eight, one of one, the application. I'm not showing all of it because it got my personal information on there. I tried to. File a complaint against Rainbow. It's it's very it's very sneaky too at Better Business Bureau. They have an A plus rating, but it's this business is not accredited. So why would you allow A plus rating to be beside the business? So the actual company is LT Berry Enterprises. And I found a report against Rainbow. And I got paperwork back from the Better Business Bureau telling me that this is not... Hold on, let me try to find the paperwork from the Better Business Bureau. So, like I was stating, the Better Business Bureau on their page has A plus rating, and on the left side it says the business is not accredited. So, you see, Old Hickory Vacuum Cleaners, LT Berry, is not owned by Rainbow. 
So you can't sue them. So Kathy Barrett says, Miss Fowler, based on the information and receipt below, your complaint should be filed against Healthy Essentials. I do not see anything regarding LT Berry. If you would like to go to the Better Business Bureau and file on that on the correct company, BBB will review the information. BBB is in on the scam. Trust and believe me. And then after I filed my lawsuit, hello, Carla. Your review of LT Berry Enterprises has been evaluated by the Better Business Bureau. We are unable to accept it for the following reason. The customer submitted a complaint against this business and BBB policy does now allow submitting a complaint and a customer review for the same issue. If you have any questions or if you feel that there's an error, please contact us. Thank you. And then here's the ripoff report for Rainbow Vacuum. Here's people saying the reviews, pizza junk. It's a scam. Terrible product. Does not have a lifetime warranty. They exploit the renew recruits because they want you to show this and get they get all the money. It's and then this one is saying I had a friend and she bought this. Whatever. She was scammed. Several complaints. Rainbow fraud. Another fraud case. And, okay, that's the date. So after all that, trying to convince me that I signed, which you can clearly see, I never signed anything. They sent me an invitation. They said that I viewed it, which she was doing a demonstration at 6.58. So how, or uh, just getting to my house at 6.58. So how am I viewing a document? And then it says they did access code at 7.37. They opened it, they viewed it, and they signed it. When she tried to convince me in October that I signed it, that's when I viewed it. I viewed it again on the 27th. I viewed it again on the 27th. I viewed it again on the 27th. I got a copy delivered to me. November, viewed it again. Viewed it again. December 2nd, December 14th, I viewed it again. December, I went to the history on this DocuSign because I was beginning to think Docu was on in on it. I'm like, why would they give me a why would they give me a piece of paper that says I signed on the 18th and I know I did not sign on the 18th? So I guess Rainbow wasn't keeping track of their history. Or I think anybody would have sense enough to go to their history and see on June 17th, no 18th is in here. It was signed. By Healthy Essentials. Carla Fowler viewed it. She viewed it. She viewed it. Let's go down here. Invitation viewed. Access open. Viewed. Signed by Healthy Essentials. Viewed. Viewed. Printable. Viewed. 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 And the court date is November 28th, darling. I have all the proof I need. I'm going to court November 28th at 9 a.m. And hopefully the judge is a fair, honest judge. That's why I'm putting this information out just in case something happens to me. Because I'm pretty sure they frauded other people for years. And you see I'm holding this sheet of paper because a lot of the information came up missing. A lot of my uh, accounts, I had to re get Facebook. I had to re, I had to block Facebook, you know, from other accounts. And today, I looked at my uh, pictures. A lot of the pictures are missing, but it just so happens I had them printed out. Thank God. So hopefully, in court, I win. I get my money. If you're watching this video, and you have been scammed. Look at your DocuSign because I don't think they're in on it. Go to the history. Print out your history and take them to court.
June 5th, I was mad on Facebook. This girl took some money from me. She went to Florida and she said she was going to pay her bills, but she ended up in Florida. So on June 7th, I get a notification from Lovely. Hey, you want a rain maid? I'm going to come to your house on June 17th and give you a free gift. Blase, blase. Okay. She gets to my house and she does her spiel. It is going to give you some white noise that is going to allow you to fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Mm -hmm. So that's the first benefit of the Raymate. The second one is it purifies the air. Mm -hmm. So as it's pulling the air into the system, it's drowning. So she wanted to show me another one, the bigger one. I said, that's okay. okay. So it doesn't just clean your air to that standard. Mm -hmm. It also cleans the surfaces of your home to that standard. Okay. So there's about 17 different things that this machine does to keep your house clean. Okay. To the same standards that we hold. This is her cleaning up after she got through with the demonstration. And by this time, I am curious, like, how are they able to give away all this free stuff? So, of course, I want to find out more information and see if I'm interested in getting my get into business myself a little upsetting to me i didn't see this paperwork right here until october i gave her my phone and she gave me a lot of paperwork and i spoke to somebody in her organization i gave them my credit i gave them my uh, banking information i gave them my social security number i gave them everything and she promised me hey you're going to get people you're going to get all these free gifts you're going to get a trip. You know, she just handed me so much information. And then she invites me to a meeting on the following day, the following Monday. So I could learn how to earn this vacuum for free. So here I am, June 18th in Nashville. And after the meeting, I put online, hey, I need 20 people. That proves that I was trying to do the program to get my item for free. Oh my God, this is <laughs> Okay, by this time, I'm almost figuring out what's going on. So I put online, I'm not going to deviate from my comfort zone to make anybody else comfortable. And... The next day I was in Nashville, she was late for appointment. So I got angry. I left. Turns out she had a death in the family. So I ended up going to Chicago with her on June 30th. I drove seven hours that night with her and her two boys. Okay, so we get to Chicago. I pay $171 for the first night. She's supposed to use her credit card the second night. Her credit card didn't work, so I had to pay additional four forty one, which I don't understand. If you're a businesswoman, why your credit card don't work? But anyway, I tried to go ahead and enjoy the trip, and you know, see some sights in in Chicago. Mind you, there was no funeral. Okay, so July fourth, she invited me to her friend's house for a cookout, a barbecue. And I get over there. And, okay, she asked me to ride to the store with her. We get outside to the car. Her car is blocked in. I had to drive. Like, okay. I get to the liquor store, Queen City Liquors. She don't so at this point, I'm frustrated. I said, when are you going to give me my money back? She said, I'm going to give you your money back. I don't have a credit card again. So, okay, I paid. Then she sold her house. She don't have any place to stay that night. I said, okay, you can come stay with me. So you don't have to sleep on the floor at your business. Okay, she was there on July 5th. July 6th. July 7th. July 8th. July 9th. So she finally moved out. And then she now remind you, this is the same businesswoman that came to my house, pretending she had everything together just for me to say, OK, I'm dealing with somebody who got their stuff together and find out that they're ex she actually don't.
she started sending me this information about, you know, credit and how you can get good credit. So, so I okay, I was like, okay, she's being positive. And once again, and she needs to use my page. We're supposed to do a ride along. She didn't show up. So I ended up going to Christine's house for a birthday party. And I was like, you never allow people to make more withdrawals than deposits because you'll soon be in a deficit. And soon as I look at my email, this girl told me I was getting charged 20%. Now, I don't get, I don't pay 20% on my car. I don't pay 20% on my house. Why would I pay 20% on a vacuum cleaner? So I'm, I'm sending out angry mes messages, you know, can I put my vacuum in my mama name, you know, trying to be funny. So I went to St. Louis. Okay, I was in St. Louis. And she weekend. told me she was going to pick and up the product. And she told me she was leaving St. Louis did. as I was So I got my Louis. statement, and it was 20% interest, which I don't pay 20% on my car. I don't pay 20% on my house. Why would I pay 20% on a vacuum? So I was like, okay, well, I waited past the deadline or whatever. September bill came out. October's bill came out. And I looked at the bill, and the bill says... The same amount. So I disputed the with the credit card company, with my bank. And my bank said it was a fraud. So like I said, I was on social media. And on social media, it's saying that we can't make it because black people don't stick together. So during the time that we are all separated, I felt an obligation to help her out since she was a salesperson. And I called several times. I said, look, they are saying it's 20%. And she did not seem shocked. When I said to somebody else, they was like, that's ridiculous, 20%? So it tells me that she knew about the scheme and she was in on it. So like I said, my bank tried to call them. They did not answer the phone. And so my bank said since it was over 60 days, I could just go ahead and get my money back. Okay, this is the reason I have to sue this girl. Okay, I'm losing countless hours of sleep, time and effort, researching. Like, how did they get me? How did they try to scam me? So, at 10.15 at night, 10.36 at night, 10.38 at night. Then I'm 6.30, 6.53 in the morning, 5 in the morning. Just hours and hours. 5.44, 7.45. Three fifty four the same day hours six five five forty five five fifty five fifty five twelve twenty six so many hours of my time that I'm supposed to be relaxing this is this was this is this was my break year I'm a veteran I was in the military I got out in twenty thirteen I went to school twenty fifteen through twenty seventeen I told I was so tired. I'm like, to the 2018 is gonna be my break year. I've been six months trying to figure out how this woman scammed me, and I figured it out. And she's gotta pay for all this time that she came to my house to scam me. The con, the con artist. man. They always come. They always confident. Confident, C-O-N, con man. 803 in the morning. Losing sleep. Worrying. Stressing. Going over all my notes. Trying to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. And then I got cursed out by her cousin online. And then she did send me an apology in my inbox saying yeah you were conned I apologize so she kept saying that the company has been in business for over 60 years I think what they doing is they'll scam so many people then they'll stop give those court cases or people time to settle down and then they'll restart it. So they've been doing the scam for 60 years. It's not it's not a full-fledged business. I had never heard of Rainbow before I met this lady. 
And when I started doing my research, I started finding all type of ripoff reports, complaints and reviews. And I was like, how is this business still in business? So I learned my lesson. I, you know, what's important? Food, shelter, and air. Can't nobody sell me anything anymore. I'm not going to help you for your business just because you're black. I'm not going to help you for your business when it's something I don't really even need. I already had a vacuum cleaner I paid $200 for. Why would I turn around and pay $4,000 for a vacuum cleaner? And then, like I said, I do YouTube reviews. And the vacuum cleaner... I had to, I use a $4,000 vacuum, turned around and used my $200 vacuum and was still picking up trash. That $4,000 vacuum should have picked up the rug. And I like doing videos. I like being honest with everybody. You know, I want everybody to be treated fairly. I know it's not a fair society, but if we get the word out and more people hear about rainbow they won't get scammed by rainbow like i said the first time i ever heard of rainbow is when she came to my house and if we get the word out hey this is a scam less people will fall for it and then they'll have to think of another scam but like i said don't buy into anything only thing you need in life is food and shelter Everybody else coming up with this get rich quick or business plan. If it's not your plan, don't get into it. Don't help anybody out.